Kirk. I'm a full-time TG instructor and trainer. You might have seen some of my YouTube at Effectatron, or maybe you've seen me teaching over on cgshortcuts.com as well. I love teaching and creating, and I've created this Greeble course because one, I love Greebles and the whole cyberpunk aesthetic, and two, because it's one of those designs that I used to look at when I was starting my 3D journey and be like, man, one day I want to be able to make those. Well, turns out they're actually not that hard to make. They look difficult to craft and they're very impressive looking, but in reality, they actually are very simple once you know what tools to use. And that's what this course is for. I'll equip you with the tools you need to create amazing greebles of your own, as well as step-by-step -step instructions and resources to follow along. The first half of the course is about creating the greeble design and then using native C4D to create the greeble. We'll cover how to make them and troubleshoot some common issues that you may face. The second half of the course is for my Redshift users out there. We'll use RS Displacement and Tessellation to create even better and more detailed greebles. We'll also go step by step through creating the materials and the lighting setup to create this scene. We'll also cover rendering and post effects as well as some camera tips and tricks. Even if you don't have Redshift, I encourage you to at least skim through the Redshift lessons just to kind of see how much better Redshift handles this kind of thing. By the end of the course, you'll have a scene that you can drag and drop your own Greeble maps into and easily create your very own unique Greeble render. Alright, let's get started.